<laughs> Hello guys, Night Vector here, bringing you another League of Legends cast. We're one minute into the game, so I'm sorry, but it happens sometimes. Finding a, a game that starts at the zero minute mark is pretty hard to do, but hey, at least I found a Teemo in this game. You don't tend to see those too often, and especially not with that skin, that's actually a very rare skin indeed. It's the the first one of the first Christmas skins in the game and Timo had one. Minions Not sure what the name is though, but he looks like an elf, so he probably is an elf. Little helper Timo, I don't know. Christmas elf Timo, I don't know. So, red team everybody. We have a Timo who will be on top doing the raves together with Evelyn, so they will have a slight experience lead, or so you might think. Then uh, the yeah. Nautilus. Sorry, forgot his name for a little second there. Nautilus will be jungling for Red Team. He's being assisted by Vayne. And Lulu will, of course, try not to leech as much experience as possible. So they will have uh, less of experience than Blue Team's bottom lane, who is Caitlyn and Jenna. They did Golems first and then immediately after helped Lee Sin with clearing his red. So Blue Team's jungler, ladies and gentlemen, will be Lee Sin. Mid lane will be a Cassidan. So Timo should have a quite a, a good laning phase to begin with actually. Cassidan is not that strong. Oh my god, that was quicker than I anticipated. Sorry for that. I wasn't even gone to that. So Evelyn immediately gets ganked by Rangar. Level 1 just jumps onto her and auto attacks her silly. Then walks into a bush and guess what happens when Rangar walks into a bush. He jumps onto you and he kills you with the Ravage. So, uh, Savagery, sorry for that. Ravage is Evelyn's a move, Night Spectre. How a coincidence. Yes, I trust it wasn't a coincidence at all. So, first blood, everybody, for Rangar. Who would have guessed? Well, some people might have already guessed that. So then, we're just to the game and already first blood for a Rangar. So, Evelyn will have quite the issues, actually, to lane in general. It will be very hard for her. Now, Nautilus could try and help her out. Pink Ward being passed by Jenna. Placed by Jenna, so she will have a full bush control, which is a thing you want as a Jenna because Lulu has a lot of crabs. Ooh, look who we have here. It's Lee Sin versus Nautilus. For now, I favor Nautilus, though, though it is going to be Cassidy being there first, except Timo, of course, with the blinding dart going down onto Lee Sin. He's not going to die, though. The ignite and the poison isn't enough. However, Cassidy is going to get the kill onto Nautilus, but it's a double buff for Timo in the end. Now, Lee Sin is going to try and kill him, though I don't think he can. There are too many minions for Timo. He has a red buff, so one art with that could have enough damage over time to just kill Lee Sin. So for now Lee Sin is going to try and prevent Timo from pushing but just look at the minions that Cassidy is going to miss. Of course we are early into the game so he will be back rather shortly but this is just too much. He's going to miss all of that experience. Cassidy, thank god that he got the kill onto Nautilus, at least he's level 3. Timo has another kill, quickly again. Jesus Christ Rengar. It's going to be so quick. Already the reports are going down for Evelyn, but too bad, there was nothing that Evelyn could do. She can't. Of course, top Evelyn isn't all that strong, especially apparently against the Rengar. Jenna wants to go aggressive, will it work out? The ace, uh, that's not an ace in the hole, that's just a regular pit over pacemaker there. Yes, but I was going to say the eye of the storm. You're lying, nice picture. I know. <laughs> So Timo, with his double buff, should actually be able to harass Cassidy quite hard, but instead it's Cassidy harassing the Timo. Even with his level lead, not a great knock-up there by Jenna, but it will just be walked away by the Lulu. Cassidy finally taking some damage in return after the Timo, but Timo needs to be very careful there. One Force Pulse might be enough, it's going to try it out, the auto attacks will be enough, and the Force Pulse with the kill. I warned you, Timo. I warned you, Nautilus wants to go in with the grab, almost hits it, but nope, it won't work. So, four kills for blue team, one kill for red team. It's a 1,300 gold lead for blue team, so not all that bad for red team. Of course, it might just snowball out of their control, especially the top lane. Rangar wants to go in again, he's just going to continue harassing the Evelyn until she dies. And quite frankly, that's not that long of a time. Vayne doing some damage onto a uh, Decaitlin, but she gets shielded by Jenna. A little bit too slow, though. Hmm. Lee Sin is again in the middle. Of course, Cassidy had to go back because, well, he was fairly low after that immense fight against the Teemo. 
Teemo now running away. Lee Sin is level 6 though. And he is immediately going to Dragon Rage Teemo. Followed up by the slow of course with the Tempest. Cassadin is not yet level 6 though. Tempest wasn't apparently a big enough slow. Lee Sin wants to continue going though. Silence going down onto Teemo. Not doing that much damage. Teemo bought himself a null magic mantle. So that's why. Did Evelyn buy some armor? No, she did not. She is still just itemless, only has consumables. Maybe she went full consumable against Rengar, but that won't work. Keep in mind, Rengar now, level 6, he can use his killer instincts, no, the thrill of the hunt, sorry, to get vision onto Evelyn, even if she is stealthed. So she will need to be very careful about that. Nautilus level 5 versus a level 6 Lee Sin. Now, of course, Lee Sin's Dragon Rage is still off cooldown. Keep in mind that Cassidy, however, is coming, but Nautilus is going to Spider-Man away. Or is he? Lee Sin continuously chasing the Nautilus. He needs to be careful. Vayne is approaching, and so is the Lulu. Will he be able to stun lock Lee Sin into death? We shall see. He will grab him with the dredge line, slowing him with the depth charge. But will it be enough? Lee Sin running away, but Vayne just doesn't have the movement speed for it. Timo getting caught again by Cassidy, but he managed to kill him at the same time. So, great play by Timo considering. Because Cassidy, I think, still had red buff and blue buff. So, in the end, it worked out pretty well for him. He didn't get the blue buff though, because he died as well. Timo now probably level 6 as well. Cassidy also though, I think. Nope, he's still level 5, so... Great play for Timo. Cassidy is still not level 6, which means he still has no ganking potential in the other lanes. Unless, of course, he can just walk towards it, which would be silly. Doesn't matter anyway, there is nobody to gank at all this time around. Nautilus not giving the blue to Timo though. Huh... I wonder what he's thinking. Of course, Timo has a chance of dying rather quickly the minute Cassidy hits level 6. But so... Yeah, I don't know. It would have made the cooldown on his uh, Noxian traps really better. And now it's going to be the first tower in the game. But Lee Sin again with the aggressiveness onto Nautilus. Going to meet up against the Cassidy who is still not level 6. But it is the blue buff now given away to Lee Sin. Nautilus now just eating his own grain. Oh, Timo with the blue buff steal though. And he's going for another one. Go little fella. Ah, so close. Cassidy is now level 6. So Timo needs to be very careful. There is a, an Evelyn approaching, but it won't be enough. Timo still needs to be very careful. One Riftwalk could mean the kill. He's placing a Shroom just to prevent that from happening, though. Evelyn wants to go in with the ultimate. Won't be enough. The Agony's Embrace. I was gonna say Shadow Embrace. Thank God I checked it out so that you won't know that I, I didn't know. Timo needs to be careful. There is a Caitlyn and a Jenna on the way. Will they be able to catch him? He is going to go in stealth with his passive. Is then just going to walk away. He still has move quick as well. So if needed be, he can still walk away. Instead, he should actually recall. Well, there are a lot of people in the middle lane. Jenna placed herself a nice vision ward over there. So Timo will not be able to use ye old stealth technique to try and get a kill onto either Cassidy or whoever is in the middle. Timo asking for assistance in the middle isn't getting any. Now Lulu has arrived, so he should have at least some assistance. Now Nautilus is approaching as well. He is level 6. He gets knocked up by the Howling Gale, though. A pity indeed, though it would have been too dangerous to go in, to be honest. They didn't have vision onto Cassidy. They didn't know where Lee Sin was. They didn't have that many information. So apparently there is a lane switch going on for Blue Team, even though Cassidy is not yet going to the bottom there. And actually, why should he? Vayne is freezing her lane very well, so she is just going to continue farming. Now, this could be dangerous. You do not want to let a Vayne farm without any remorse. You want to stop her, prevent her from getting into her endgame, because personally, an endgame Vayne is one of the scariest things I've ever seen. And I've seen the grudge. And it scared me. Evelyn is taking a lot of beating. There's a level 9 versus a level 7. So Evelyn, thank god she leveled up. Will it be enough though? I don't think so. She's trying whatever she can to try to get a kill. But it won't work in the end. Cassidy, of course, way too quick with the Rift Walk. Going for a quick recall as well. So he will not die. Vayne now going in onto the Caitlyn. She does have a turret though. But Caitlyn, uh, Vayne did a lot of damage onto her. So 
Great play nevertheless, another tumble, why not? And, well, Jenna should arrive rather shortly. Kasselin, nope, it's Lee Sin finding himself at Timo, not getting hit by the shroom there. Death charge is landing onto Lee Sin, however. There's no escape, but Timo doesn't want to dive that deep, and oh, the dredge line misses, and now it's going to be Kasselin going for the kill. Will it work? Of course it will. The tower will do all the work for him. The Timo shroom, will it be enough? Nope, it will not. A double kill for Kasselin, who has double buffs now, Timo. It is I, Kassadin. So, a pity. If that dredge line was able to hit, it would have given a kill to the Nautilus at the very least. Though I think that the Kassadin double kill would have stayed the same. And that would have been bad either way. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's 9 to 3 for Blue Team now. They are 3,000 and let's say 600 goal ahead. Give or take, it might actually be 700 gold by now, and the itemization shows. So, we have a brutalizer onto the Rangar. That's pretty brutal indeed, if I say so myself, because that really means he will do a lot of damage onto his opponents, which is already nasty to deal with. Rangar does damage no matter what, to be honest, so he can even build health and it will still work. Of course, Riot tweaked Rangar a little bit so that he can't really make all that major damaging abilities with his ferocity if it is ferocity i don't know so it used to be the case that you can just not lev uh, level up savagery first and then you would use the ferocity immediately after you use savagery so you could do savagery twice for a lot of damage and that would result in people dying now, right, change that a little bit. You cannot increase the damage of Savagery by leveling it with the Ferocity bonus. Jenna with a, vo uh, with a Vision Lords, man. Doing great jobs indeed. Of course, it is required versus an Evelyn, though. She might otherwise just roam around and kill people, which now she is unable to do. She even needs to be on top, but I don't think Rangar cares. She's just going to auto-attack the turret into damnation. And that's another turret destroyed for Red Team. It is looking bleaker and bleaker for them. And that's going to be another dragon then taken as well. So that's 2,000 gold in a mere seconds for Blue Team, who are now 6,000 gold ahead and 600 gold. Rangar now going to roam around, and why shouldn't he? He has the Brutalizer, he can do a lot of damage. Nautilus being completely surrounded there, getting slowed by the Zephyr, knocked up by the Howling Gale, but guess what? You cannot escape Cassidy, or can you? Lulu with the Wild Grove trying to save him, but it's not enough. That's going to be another kill. Rangar going in onto Timo. Timo noticing this though, trying to blind Rangar, but I don't think it will be enough. Flashing away, one more auto attack would give a kill, but guess what? Kassadin is too close by. Timo will get the kill onto Rangar, though apparently he walked on a shroom. Timo trying to go in stealth, he will. Does Kassadin notice this? He can use force pulls onto Timo. Instead, he's just going to riff walk away. There's no catching this baby. So Timo, nicely played indeed. Getting the Rangar under such circumstances. Of course, blinding dot makes it so that Rangar's savagery is pretty useless then again it's still a Rangar he has more tricks on his sleeves his spells do damage as well mate majestic roar I don't care everything throw it all onto Timo he'll survive of course he did have to burn a flash though but he didn't have to use ignite because it was on cooldown so again Caitlyn and Jenna instead of pushing mid lane they thought hey might as well just push the bottom again. It's a good lane to push nevertheless and it makes it so that Caitlyn, uh, I mean Vayne has some difficulties with farming and that's a good thing to do. Because you don't want Vayne to farm. Look at her items for now all she has is a Vampiric Scepter in comparison to Caitlyn who has a BF Sword and a Pickaxe. So. Caitlyn has way more damage than Vayne. Needs to be careful though. Evelyn is approaching. Final hour being used. A very nice condemn against the wall. But Jenna with a perfect monsoon knocks away only the Vayne though. Though, sorry, not that perfect. But in the end, worth it nevertheless. So, Jenna and Caitlyn just escaping. That's a power of a Jenna, of course. She has such good kiting potential. Zephyr, Howling Gale, monsoon if it's really necessary. Which it was, so I don't blame her for using it. Cassidy wants to silence Timo. Timo with not to take his precious Noxian trap gets blown up by minions. He really wanted to use that for Cassidy. So what Timo is doing and which you should be doing as well if you play Timo is you place your Noxian trap where you are standing. So if Cassidy goes in for a Rithwalk onto your face, he will immediately hit a Shroom as well. So that way you will be able to return some of the damage. Evelyn already taken so low and Rangar hasn't taken that many moves yet. 
How many tokens do you have? I couldn't see, because the dynamic camera said I expected there are more interesting things, like Rengar going to jump onto this Avalon. Will she die immediately? Yes, she will. Will the Nautilus get killed immediately? I don't think so, though he needs to run away. It's a bait coming down from Rengar, for Lee Sin is approaching. Rengar, of course, with the Bingistic War, healing himself massively. Ignite going down onto Nautilus. Lee Sin a little bit too soon there with the resonating strike, but in the end, does it really matter? No, nothing else matters. Cassidy able to push down the middle tower, so Timo is all by himself, even though he isn't all that weak. He is the level 11, and Cassidy only level 10, so Timo with a small lead there. He has the malady, he has the haunting guys. The minute he has Lysandra's torment, he will be a pain to deal with. However, he remains quite steady in the middle. The minute he has Lysandra's Torment, I would love to see him a little bit more in the jungle, because that's where the power of a Teemo comes in, I believe. Because you can shroom pretty much everywhere, and they do amazing damage. Now Teemo will need to run instead. He thinks, nope, I'm going to try and kill this Kassadin. But an amazing um, Eye of the Storm there by Jenna made it so that, nope, Kassadin, I will let you live, for I am your support. So great play by red team, I mean blue team, making it so that Timo cannot really get any kills anymore. Though that means Caitlyn is all by himself, yet Lulu and Devane, who are quite good at chasing I might add, aren't going in onto Caitlyn. They finally are going in, but instead we're going to the middle where Lee Sin does a little bit of damage onto the... Well, a little bit, it's a lot of damage onto the Evelyn. And he wants more, Resonating Strike missing the dredge line, and not though. Caitlyn got a kill, so let's go back to the bottom and see how it got... Uh, how it happened. Though, I think we all know how it happened, so... We have a very huge vein there, she's already a very huge woman, but instead she's going to shrink down and find herself a Rengar, Ace in the hole will do the rest. So flash burn by Vayne as well, very important, barrier been burned as well for just an ultimate coming down from Caitlyn. Of course Caitlyn got chased by Vayne, so I think she also burned her flash and her barrier as well, but in the end was it worth it? Yes, yes it was. So, 9,000 gold lead for blue team, they've already destroyed 4 towers, Timo being the man that he is, trying to prevent the enemy team from getting his tower, won't work though, Kassadin tanking the tower will get safeguarded as well by Lee Sin, so he won't take that much damage, and that will probably be another turret, nope, Lulu making them disappear, get away from my tower, Nyah. and they do, so they listen to the mighty Lulu. Itemization. Rengar is going for a Blade of the Ruined King, so he really wants damage, mate. Can't really blame him, it's working out, though he doesn't need any more than, af than that after that. Now, you do see Rengar's go for Blade of the Ruined King on multiple occasions. It's either that or the Blade of Divinity, which also works quite well. The first three auto attacks of Rengar will then crit, dealing tons of damage as well. So Janna again with the Vision Watch. She has a lot of money. Cassidy flashing away with his Rithlock will survive. Of course you knew that. He had an Oracles though, so it would have been very... <laughs> no! <laughs> that, that was going to say he had an Oracles. Thank God he survived going to Rithlock straight onto Golem's dice. So a pity indeed. That's 400 gold down the drain. Not that he m cares that much. He has 6 kills. Only 77 million kills, but that's usual the case for a Kassadin. Last hitting with him is fairly hard, especially in the beginning of the game. Another dragon though, given to him as well, so that's another 1000 gold going down for blue team. And the red team going for their first tower, question mark. Caitlyn trying to prevent them from doing that, but ooh, that could have been an amazing condemn against a tree. Instead, Vayne really wants a tower, and she's going for it. Will it work out in the end though? Oh, nice uh, Howling Gale there by Jenna, getting an invisible target. The invisible target ravaging her though, so she is being quite scared. She still has Monsoon just in case, but keep in mind Evelyn can do a lot of damage as well. She is a little bit behind considering the fact she's a top laner and she's the same level as a support player, but still, be careful Jenna. She is still a Jenna though. Caitlyn wants to go deep, will it go deep enough? There's a Teemo in the bush, Caitlyn! Be careful! Timo doesn't want to go in too deep though. There is a Lulu as well. He doesn't want to scare her. Rengar going to find himself an Evelyn though. <laughs> Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. Who's the Widowmaker now? Well, that only makes sense if 
Adeline would be lesbian. Oh no, Kasselin, you're gonna get caught by the Teemo powers of Teemo. Actually, no, Teemo is AF King in that bush. <laughs> Poor Lulu. She, oh, she might get away though. It is a Kasselin. Just a few seconds remaining for a rift walk. Boom goes the silence. Boom goes the... Well, whatever it was, it's going to be another kill for blue team. I'm, I'm just confused. Did Timo disconnect or something? This is EU West, though the connections have been a little bit better since that ride just turned off the custom item builds you can create. But this is just weird. It's Tim Timo was just waiting for the perfect moment. What a bastard. <laughs> Nobody suspected that at all. What a cheeky little fellow. And he's going to remain in that bush for all eternity. Vayne going to chase Kasdan now. Kasdan does a lot of damage though, but he might just find himself a Timo. A lot of pink wards in that bush, meaning that Kasdan knew that walking into that bush would mean death. Kasdan could go for a cheeky kill, but he didn't know that Evelyn was there though. Ravage into the back. We'll get you killed. So great play by Red Team, catching the enemies off guard, which is good. Of course, Blue Team is a little bit cocky, and at the same time, they were pushing you know, the entire other lane. So Blue Team still getting objectives done, but at least Red Team is getting some kills. Still a 11,000 gold lead for Blue Team, and another kill going down for Lee Sin. Ha! Huh. Good guy, Rengar, giving kills to his teammates as well. Will result in a GG for Red Team. I mean Blue Team. Though, nicely played as well, Red Team. You tried. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. Sorry that I was a little bit more quiet during this cast. It's actually quite late, but I just realized that I still hadn't casted any games and I wanted to upload something tomorrow. Let's hope it actually works this time and we don't have that silly 144p nonsense again. Anyway, as I said before, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Whatever it is I'll do, whenever it is I'll do it, Thank you for watching and goodbye.